Yes, they want to hook people. <laughs> Christ. What a trash game. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't understand. The player base is stable, so I guess they're doing something right. But Christ, is that not a game I want to touch with a 10-foot pole? Marvel Snap. Lucky. They don't tell you that they're bots still, right? They just like disguise the bots as real users. to try to make the bots as human-like as possible. Yeah. Uh, interesting. I guess I'll just grab the Romeo and take a roll. Generally, very hard. But I'm sure some games are easier than others. If you're okay with making a replicate bad players, uh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know how easy it is to rec uh, replicate like human like mistakes. It might be easy, I just don't know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Especially if there's deck building involved. Because, like, maybe it's easy for, to, like, program a bot for a specific deck, but if you want it to generalize over a number of decks, it's going to get a lot more complicated. Because probably the generalization that is the hard part. So I'm sure in most card games you could find some solitary deck that wouldn't be too hard to make a reasonable bot for. It's a combo. It's a combo. Yeah, like you probably get a, a Yu-Gi-Oh bot to... Well, well, this was like tested with Master Duel, right? People actually made bots with FTK decks. <laughs> that had good enough win rates to get the plat. That was the highest rank, yeah. I think I'm just keeping the double black out. Let's just do this. Not anymore, it was on release. Yeah, 
Magic class 10 years ago. You want a heuristic? I'll have a cheat knowing the deck order. Well, I think nowadays you would use reinforcement learning. If you really wanted to make something that generalizes. Fun fact, that's something I've been working on for the last couple weeks for the game I've been working on. Having not the best success. That was a wish, right? Going to six next turn. You train the AI against? Uh, either itself or you have some baseline agent that uses a heuristic. Wait, but I'm level six. Game. God damn it. Not sure what the benefits of that would be. Versus just doing raw self play the whole time. Not when I have shoulder carries. No, my Herc! Why does Horde Dragon have three up upgraded Heartwood Elders in the back? Um. Well, at least my Herc proc still. You're telling me I can have an Excalibur. Okay. Well, I can have another level 7 treasure. Oh. This skip here is pretty good.
Why do I have so much gold? Where'd that all come from? Tweedle. We're gonna hit real units at some point, right? Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. I just feel like my ceiling is higher than buying or locking a random Medusa. Oh, hey, puppy. <laughs> nice little talk. <laughs> Very cute. Very cute. Magic sword plus 100. Hmm. Okay, I'm on. I no longer have any clue what I'm doing. But it'll probably be pretty strong when we get to buy a level 6 unit. Like that one. We found one! They do exist! I can do anything. I can do anything the shops give me. The problem is the shops had to give me something, and I was getting a little worried the shops were never going to give me something. A Tweedle would be pretty good. Oh, the Doom Breath's nice, too. The reason I skipped Burnbeard? I didn't have Ashwood yet. I didn't know that I was going to go Trees. I've already got a unit for Magic Sword. Tiger down. I mean, I guess we could also just be Pumpkin with the Magic Sword. We do sort of have Pumpkin units. Even if we don't fill our board with evil things, this Pumpkin's fine. Uh, probably should share with Herc, yeah. I don't know, the Herc is the shoulder fairy's health. Probably still worth doing. So my cracker count? If I sell it, is it gone? Yeah, I can't get offered a nutcracker. I can sell it if I want. Tree. No murder. Wait, wait, murder. My ex friend. I wonder if we have more level 7s than Horde Dragon. They could have bought a Herc. Round table trees. Hmm. That's not bad. Nice. 
Multiple power. 